Mix the flour, sugar and margarine together. Mix them with your hands if you have no equipment. You can add the milk later on. Little by little, adding in the eggs too. And also a good alternative to milk can be yogurt, which makes the mandazi really, really nice. Once the dough is ready, you can set it aside. But even if you choose to use it immediately, there's no problem. The mandazi will still look good and taste nice. So you place it on the rolling board. If you have no rolling board, you can use a clean surface. Just ensure that you've dusted it with the flour. Then you'll use a rolling pin to ensure that you flatten out the dough smoothly and evenly. Make sure it's not too thin, not too thick. Then cut it into shapes, desired shape. Once that is done, you can place your um, cooking pot or uh, your frying pan in the fire. Ensure that you've put enough oil. Once the oil is heated, place the mandazi one by one. Ensure that you don't turn immediately. Checking that the mandazi gains a very light brown color. Then you can turn each time until the mandazi is fully cooked. You'll know it's fully cooked when it gains a very rich golden brown color. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos like you.